Shame Sarah couldn't come, really. Yeah. You'd think they'd provide facilities for children, wouldn't you? Not like a crash or a bouncy castle. Yeah, I know. It might be a learning experience for her. Well, she's at school, and I thought that would be a learning experience. There it is, son. Better net these, then. Come on, Charlie, stop mucking about. Sorry, man, it's just... I can't listen to music, you know? I mean, we're going to a bloody funeral. Yeah, no, fair enough. You know, I've never been to a funeral. No? No. I went to me nan's. Yeah? What was it like? I don't know, I was a kid, wasn't I? Probably not nice, though. Very sorry, Danny. I don't know where to start. My turn. Very sorry, Danny. I don't know where to start. That's exactly what I just said. All right, how about this? You right, Dan? Of course he's not all right. No, no, I don't mean, are you all right? Just... No, no, stupid. There's nothing I can say can really help, can it? Anyway, you know, we've been thinking about you. Rachel more than me, apparently. Still. Any of your showbiz types coming in? Oh, shut up, Terry. Yeah, I'll shut up then. It's all right, it's all right, thanks. Mm. Hasn't sunk in yet, has it? I don't know, difficult to tell with him. I'm telling you, he hasn't. We're both really sorry. 
really sorry to hear that your wife got knocked down on a zebra crossing. By an ice cream man. <laughs> <laughs> How are we going to do with this? <laughs> we can't talk to Donnie. I'm not equipped to deal with this sort of thing. We're going to have to get a lot more out of it than this. <laughs> <laughs> Danny! <clears throat> You know, too, I could take this from you, know, standing here getting arsehole like a couple of bloody students. Hasn't really sunk in yet, has it? <laughs> <laughs> Death on the road is always the most tragic of all days. I mean, I take my life in my hands every time I get on the bike. You pass the test then? Never mind about me. This is your day. But don't get too down about it, though, Dan. You've got to look on the bright side. I mean, you're on your own now. You're free. No divorce, no alimony, no kids. You could be on something bloody great here. Angus, piss off. All right, shall we? How are the kids? Very happy and well adjusted without you, thank you very much. Better, shall we? Better. That ages you. I'm trying to remember it's Danny's day today. Now is not a good time to talk about work. Three grand. Blimey, yeah, right, I'll do it. Bloody fun. Oh, Charlie. Looks bad. <sighs> Stitches? Definitely. Casualty job. Result? <laughs> Taxi! We're here today to celebrate the life of Li Chin Koi. I myself did not have the privilege of knowing Mr. Li. Sorry. Long funeral. Yeah, sorry, Keys. As I was saying, I didn't myself. Have you got a siren? There's not a lot of call from in this game, mate. Hmm. Oh, could you just pull over here for a minute, please? Mate. Get us some fags. Welcome to you all. We are here today to celebrate the life of Katie Spencer. I didn't know Katie, but I've spoken to her friends, her family, her husband. You good people here. She brought a great deal of joy and natural warmth and radiance to the lives of those she met. All our thoughts today, of course, are with Daniel, for whom I'm sure it hasn't quite sunk in yet. But most of all, I'd like to thank my late wife, Katie, who was my strength and my love. And you taught me the meaning of the word. Uh, 
Something about depending on your wife. Thank you very much. But most of all, Danny. May he have the strength to continue to honor Katie's memory. Such a long, long time. Look like I get you off of my mind, but I can't. Just the thought of you turns my whole world. All right, James. Are you uh, going to come back to the house? That's all right. You're young, you don't have to. Right, well, I think we give it a swerve then, Dan. Yeah, look, we're very sorry, Dan. Anyway. Well, I'll see it work then, yeah? Very sad, dear. A lovely service, a lovely service. Well, thanks very much. Are you, are you going to come back to the house? No, I don't think so, love. No. Bye, love. Bye, dear. And God bless. Oh, sweet. I have absolutely no idea who they are. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they're here for the day. Yeah. Katie'd have laughed at that, wouldn't she? Yeah. I said I'd take her parents back. Okay? Mm. I know that you and Katie had your ups and downs recently, but we both thought of you as the son we never had. And that I made a brother and sister. Shut up, Charlie. Baby, 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 baby. Tight bastard. He'll have posh wines, cheeses and all sorts stashed away. Come on. Let's go root some out. I didn't know Katie, but I've spoken to her friends, her family, her husband, you good people here. And I wish I had known <coughs> Katie. She brought a great deal of joy and natural warmth and radiance to the lives of those she met. One thing I can say for sure, she was loved. <laughs> All right, Dan. Yeah. How's it going? Well, not great, obviously. Um, people keep saying it hasn't sunk in yet. Has it? I don't know. I think it's sunk in. I mean, how do you tell? Maybe it's going to sink in some more. Hmm. So you videoed the funeral then? Yeah, I don't know. I kind of thought maybe one day you'd have kids and you know they'd like to see their dad in a vulnerable state. It might might be a good lesson for them. So your vision of my life is I'll get married again, have kids with a new wife, and then show them the video of how upset I was at my first wife's funerals. Could you see my bald patch? Oh, I can't tell. What am I like? Maybe it hasn't sunk in. Oh, let's go and have a drink. I mean, shouldn't I be in floods of tears, Terry? You know, I mean, I feel terrible because I'm not reacting to Katie's death like I should be, you know? I feel guilty because I'm not as upset as I should be, you know? I'm not distraught. Yeah, well, there's, there's no standard EU measure of grief, is there, Dan? I mean, you know, if you feel what you feel and in your own way, you're... Grieve for Katie the rest of your life. Jesus, who'd have thought we'd live long enough to be burying each other? How do we all get so old, eh? Don't know. It's what happens, isn't it? So at least we were young at a good time. Any time's a good time to be young, too. Yeah, but we had punk rock. <laughs> punk rock? So? Oh, come on, you know, the Pistols, The Clash, The Damned. Yeah, and? The, the Buscocks, X-Ray Specs. 
the... Yeah, Eater, Menace and the Slits. Come on, it was all shit. No, it wasn't. Some of it still sounds great. Do you still listen to any of it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. No, you don't. Mm, no, you're right. <laughs> <sighs> Jesus, I don't believe this is happening to... I mean, I know it is, but I just don't believe it. Probably shouldn't say this, Dan, but I think most people wonder... Well, I know I have what it might be like to, you know... Well... Let's go and have a drink. What's this? Cosmetic enhancement at the Buckingham Centre. Danny! Oh. What's that? What? I don't know, it's just a brochure. It came through the door. So you found the other food then? And the champagne? Yes, it was a struggle, but we managed. It's almost as if it was in the way, Dad. Ah! No, well, she's here, but, um, well, obviously, I put it somewhere safe, and now it's not safe. It's great. Great. Sorry about the accident, Charlie. How many stitches? Five. You know what? In a couple of thousand years, somebody will dig you up, look at all your scars, and think, once there strode a mighty warrior. Ha! <laughs> uh, ha! <laughs> As opposed <laughs> to an accident-prone piss tank who's uh, nicked my champagne. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, I haven't had a chance to talk to you yet. No. Only I, I, I got lost on the way here. <laughs> Bloody cab driver. Mm. I should tell him to... <laughs> Find it on the map? No. Follow someone else? No. <laughs> Fuck off! Yeah, they're all tossers, aren't they? Yeah. Look at that. That's mucky, Dan. Dan, Dan, Dan. Now, I know I might seem a bit previous here, what with us toasting dear Katie's memory, but this could be a new start for you. You're just a boy of, what are you, 39, 40? 39. You've got a long life ahead of you. Oh, don't talk rubbish, Angus. I've got a slow trundle into drool, piss and impotence. Forty. Forty's not old. Fifty's not old. <laughs> if you were a Greek shipping magnet, you could be over fifty and still going round the world banging glamorous women. Angus, no. <laughs> Oops. I'm right, Dan. Did you see the way those women were looking at us at the funeral? What are you talking about? They were a funeral, for God's sake. My wife's funeral. Women don't operate on that level. What level? His level. You know, they were looking at me with sympathy. Sympathy? Don't knock sympathy. That's a ploy that's worked for me on many occasions. Not the only ploy that would work at your age. Eh? <laughs> Did you know that on Onassis's ship... Oh, Christ, that's hard to say. Onassis's ship. Anyway, all the stools in the bar were covered with elephant's foreskin. Oh, yeah, who told you that? It's true, apparently. And well, you believe it? Yep. So it's a fact? Yep. When you know it's true? No. No. Excuse me a minute. It's a whale's foreskin, actually. Hey, well, you would know that. Yeah, please, Mum. Look like I get you off of my mind, but I can't. Just the thought of you turns my whole world misty blue. Oh, honey, just a of your name turns the flicker to a flame listen to me good baby I think of the things we used to do and my whole world turns 
misty blue. Oh, God, son. No, you know right. Yeah. Now, of course, Rod's problem is that he marries him. <laughs> yeah, that's just the tip of the iceberg, though. For every one he marries, there's probably about 200 we've never even heard of. Well, I went to see him at uh, Wembley on his last tour, both nights. Both nights? Yeah. He was great. Mind you, I did think 50 quid for a sweatshirt was a bit steep. Yeah. Anyway, on a second night, he did this absolutely brilliant extended version of Do You Think I'm Sexy? with, like, dueling guitars and everything, while Rod went off to change. Yeah, result. Touch. <laughs> uh, what's that song of his, um, Tonight's the Night? Now that line in it, let your inhibitions run wild. Yeah. Well, that doesn't mean anything, does it? Let your inhibitions run wild. I mean, it's just rubbish. Mr Spencer? Thank you for uh, coming uh, oh. <laughs> coming in after your, uh, well, you know, your, your recent bereavement. It was very good of you not to cancel. It must be uh, very difficult. Still, you've thrown yourself back into your work. Uh, yeah. Shall we start? You're fine. Right. Cheers. So, my wife died recently. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's, it's OK. I mean, the terrible thing is I actually don't feel as bad as I should, you know? And I just feel so guilty about that. Bloody hell, why am I telling you this? Sorry. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. OK. Hello, what's your name? Josh. Hello, Josh. Thanks for coming to see me. There you go, Josh, mate. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. It's all right. It's a pleasure. Mm. You're like one of Rod's exes. Hey. <laughs> Next. Hello, darling. What's your name? No, it's all right, mate. It's the bear she likes. You know what? I do the voice of the bear. It's, it's me, really. What's your name, darling? No, she wants the bear to sign the book. Yep. I am the bear. I'm Dexter. Hello, kids. Now, why aren't you in the suit, then? Well, because I do the voice of the bear. She doesn't want a book signed by the voice of the bear, does she? She wants a book signed by the bear. Yeah, but I am the bear. I mean, it's only animation, isn't it? You know, I write it, I do the voice. He's just, just a bloke they hired in to stand behind me. He's just an out-of-work actor. Oh, charming. But it's true. I'm the bear. You're just an actor. <laughs> Daddy, that man's scaring me. You've upset my daughter now, mate. You happy? Right. You keep your nose out of it. Bear, sign the book. Sign it. Come on, sign the book. Thank you. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, mate, whoever you are. If my daughter weren't here, I'd knock you spark out. Come on, darling. Oh, good old people. Well, not bad. No, we shifted quite a few. Weird, isn't it? You know, I was just thinking, do you know that Rod is actually older than Rachel Hunter's dad? <laughs> I mean, how embarrassing is that? I'd like to take your daughter out, Sonny. Oh, come on, I only said you were an actor. Well, I mean, it's true, you are. Are you really not talking to me? Oh, look, if you were any good, you wouldn't be standing around dressed as a bear all day, would you? And I thought Atlantic Crossing was a pile of shit. Oh, did you? So, how's Danny doing? I haven't seen him since the funeral. Difficult day. Difficult day. He must be doing all right. He's gone back to work. Mm. Oh, bloody hell. Yes, I'll tell you um, who I saw the other day. Pierce Brosnan. Oh, you see him all day. She'd have asked him here for a paint. What? You're talking about James Bond? What a Bondy on the piss? Leave it out, he yeah, never has the occasional martini, shaken, not stirred. Yeah, Bondy had gone into the old Eastern block, one over the eight on London Pride. <laughs> Slowed up with a big old chicken tikka masala. Smirsh would have done him easy. Oh, and a slaughtered him. <laughs> Paul, Paul, boy. All right. Hello, Chet. All right. Hey. What do you want? Paint of lager, please. <laughs> Same for me, sir. Me too, sir. I'll have a monkey killer. What's that? It's three quarters of a pint of Guinness topped up with cider and a glass of Grand Marnier in a glass, in the pint glass. 
I'll pay for the Guinness. You can pay for the rest. Who are you drinking that crap for, Charlie? You're not a student. Yeah, you should start acting at your age. <laughs> <laughs> you lot are all so bloody boring. I'm still living my life to the full. I'm still pushing back the boundaries. I'm experimenting. Have you ever tried experimenting with a job? Have you? Ooh, I've really got a job, you fat piece thing. Doing the stupid voice for a plasticine kung fu nurse bear. You uh, call that, you call uh, that work, uh, do you? Uh, 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 oh. Oh. Wouldn't it be great if your own pub? Ron Wood's got his own pub at the end of his garden. Is that true? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. <sighs> yep. Well, you wouldn't have to have any rubbish on the jukebox, then, would you? No, you wouldn't. You'd have to have the odd shitty record on it, make it authentic. Yeah, you're right. Some wrecked old tosser with a Jack Russell picking up the empties. What? <laughs> My uncle Cyril had a pub. He drank and drank till his legs swelled up and he had to amputate him. No one was doing a pub anymore. We're in the bloody pub now. Can you do that again? <laughs> <laughs> Has he been sick up there? No. Well, well, we might be. Charlie talked him into drinking a load of monkey killers. <sighs> to push back the boundaries of his life. <laughs> <laughs> How are you and Sarah? Yeah, fine. Went to the fair today, watched the little eyes light up. It's a real wonder seeing that look. Yeah, it must be, yeah. Got ripped off on the spinning teacups. <laughs> I gave this bloke a tenner and he just gave me change for a fiver. I had a huge row with him. Yeah, well, you know, they see magic and wonder, little ones in a fair, don't they? And we see some tattered nutter trying to rip us off. Yeah. So, how's it going then? Hmm? All right in there. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. The only thing is, and it, it does actually really piss me off, Mm. Um, it's just the way that people keep thinking they can touch me the whole time. Mm. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Well, you planned it this time, didn't you? Well, of course I planned it. What do you think? Well, you know, at least last time it was an accident. I mean, on purpose. How could you with him? Dan, you're supposed to be his friend and you're pissing me right off. Well, he's my friend, you know. It's a tosser. You're all tossers, Dan. Well, this is a tosser with sperm. Oh, right. Oh, is that it, then? Is that why we split up? My single-figure sperm count? Well, of course it wasn't that straightforward. No, but that was part of it. Well, of course it was part of it, but hang on a minute, you know. I wanted kids, you didn't. And you made it really, really clear, remember? I think it's sunk in. Have you been sick?